Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 9 of Let's Play Battlefield Yugoslavia. Today, we will be fighting in and around the city of Mostar in the Herzegovina region of Bosnia. Just like last episode, we will be fighting against the Croat forces this time, meaning that you'll still have a while to wait until we get a four-way conflict, well, a three-way conflict in Bosnia. Nonetheless, we will make sure that this city falls, does not fall, I mean, to Croat forces, since if we suffer another defeat like last time around, we are doomed. Pure and simple. We cannot allow the Croats to defeat us. Since we have lost the last battle, you both, well, you all saw that, that we weren't able to defeat the first Croat offensive. So we must defeat this one. Which is why I am ex extremely determined to win this time round. That's it, you Croat. Come on, get over here. Get over here! There we go. We're gonna slice some Croat throats while we can. So they're attacking our base. That's obvious enough. We are under threat. We need to liberate the base. But we also need to attack, to counterattack. Now, where are these Croat forces? So we'll have to advance forward now anyway, since our forces are moving into the city. If we can take this city back from the Croat forces, we might just have a chance at winning. And that will of course be a very big victory in this war. Not decisive obviously enough, but it will give us the advantage over the Croats in Bosnia. Which is exactly what I'm seeking this time around. They're recapturing this base though, which isn't good. We'll have to hide ourselves for a second. And kill these crowds by surprise. Now, where are the fraternal Serbian comrades? Ah, there they are, they've crashed. How did they even get in here? I won't even ask. Ah, oh, nice, those guys got some wheels, you might have noticed, uh car there, I think it's a Yugo, which was the most popular car produced in Yugoslavia. So they're using that as their battle wagon there. I see no reason not to, after all, it's a reliable car. Cheap, I guess, but still reliable. We'll see if we can get any aircraft. Nope, but we do have a tank in this hangar, so that's good. Looks like a T-54, same thing we used back in Bukovar. So we'll see if we can advance on the Croat forces this way. You might notice that I'm changing the volume a little bit in the video. If that's a problem, please tell me so I can adjust the volume levels. Either way, we are now going to push further into the city. We have captured some Croat bases on the outskirts, though they are fighting back. And we cannot allow the Croats to fight back. We really cannot. Now, is this a Croat I see? Yes, it is, and I missed. God damn it. Well, we'll uh, continue our attack anyway. So now, of course, Mostar, from what I remember, is a, is a ethnically mixed city. It has populations of Croats, Muslims, and Serbs, though the Serbs make up a minority of the population. So we will be fighting in Mostar later on when we try a few levels as the Croats, but there we'll, we, we will be fighting against Muslim forces, as opposed to um, Yugoslav forces. 
So right now we are attacking this part of the town. If we can take it, we can continue our offensive. We will hurt the Croats very badly. Mark my words. Okay, there's some Croat forces advancing. We need to injure them at the very least. I think I'll try putting up the volume a little bit. I'll see what happens. Seems slightly better if you ask me. But now they're attacking what appears to be our main base, one of our main bases, which is not good whatsoever. They're taking a camp. Wait a second, there's Croats here. Thought so. So that guy pretty much just got stuck into the window frame. But where are these forces? That's the one question. Okay, so there's a Croat tank, that explains a lot. Mr. Kamil Koralic, get ready to die. I mean, what the hell is going on here? I can't see any of these Croat forces. So, I don't understand why I'm failing to capture the base. Well, there's a bunch of them. I noticed those guys, of course. That guy had a cool headband there. And now we've got some reinforcements. We're advancing. Come on, Ratko, follow me, follow me. Ratko Gudeli, follow me. Come on, listen to me. Listen to me, for God's sake. So these Croat forces are counterattacking slightly. They really can't do shit against us. Stefan Blagojevic has them pinned down. And our comrade disappeared. Great. So we need to keep holding this place. But of course, for the sake of gameplay, I think I'll march onwards and help my fellow Serbs take the next base. That Croat's just flailing up and down, up and down, up and down. And this guy is actually trying to push back against my tank, and he's climbed on top of it. Great. Come on, let's do this. So we're actually running low on machine gun bullets here, which isn't helpful. But that doesn't matter since we are nonetheless defeating these Croat forces. We are marching on this city, we are taking it bit by bit. It'll soon be ours. Though we are running out of ammo. And we're out of ammo, great. We'll have to start using our cannons against the Croat forces. Which isn't too useful. It isn't too convenient, I mean. It's certainly effective, though, as you can see, I threw that guy to the other side of the road with a shell, and he's still alive. How did the hell did Ratko get in there? I have no idea. Either way, we need a victory here. As I said before, we cannot afford to lose this battle, but if we do win, Bosnia will be much easier to take control, well, to keep control of. The Croats are resisting though, but if you ask me, they don't seem to have any heavy weaponry capable of defeating us. And an RPG-7 just took us out. Fan frickin tastic It's time to kick these Croats out of our base. What the hell were they doing there? They were shooting that Serb soldier while he was down. Now that is not the way to fight a war. Oh god. Okay, the Croats now have a tank. We'll have to get out of the way. Okay, we've managed to get out of the way of his fire. But now we'll have to take him on ourselves. And we have saved the base, more or less, from Croat attack. 
but we are still failing to take it, to take the city I mean. Which is not good, not good one bit. And that's why we are going to launch an attack with this tank. Sure, it's badly damaged. And of course the Croat forces outnumber us to many an extent. But that shouldn't discourage us from continuing our attack. There's the beautiful Yugo there. Wait, there's a Croat in it. Okay. Let's steady our aim and take him out. There we go. Now that's what I call quality aiming. Now where the hell are the Croats who are attacking this place? We might just have to blow apart our own barracks to get them. Well I have no idea where they are, and I don't care where they are so long as we can stop them. There they are. And they have a tank. Okay, a single shot was enough to destroy it. That was some really crappy, shoddy tank quality there. You know, I guess Made in Yugoslavia isn't the kind of thing you'd want to see on a product. Not sure myself, but... That's what it seems after just cutting through these Croat tanks as if they were made out of paper. Okay, that was close. I accidentally blew up my comrades. We saved Mr. Alexander Popovich. And now we're going to continue advancing into the city of Mostar. We'll need some kind of strategy though. Popovich is now our machine gunner, which is very useful. Seeing that we are going to run out of machine gun bullets at this rate if we keep killing so many Croat forces. Wait a second. Okay, that's what I call a lack of orientation. He was pretty much just sitting on top of our tank and he still couldn't hit it with his RPG. Okay, Stefan is now following me, that's always useful. Because now we are going to launch another assault on these Croat bases here, on this force. We have allies, which is useful. And we just cut the capture time in half. That's how we do things in Herzegovina, because we aren't in Bosnia proper at the moment. We will be soon though, trust me, I think the next level, maybe the, maybe the level after that even as well, we will be fighting Muslim forces in Bosnia. Bit of a spo spoiler alert, but nonetheless, you might as well know how the war is going. If we can defeat the Croats here, the only problem left to deal with will be the Muslim forces. Now, where the hell are these Croats? There they are, great. That's it, we have captured a base, but the Croats have taken our barracks. This is very not good, this is bad. We'll have to gun down that Hugo. And we'll have to march back on our barracks. We'll see if we can take this building though. If we can take this building at the very least, we'll have a chance. A fighting chance. We'll have to get out of the tank though. We'll gun down some Croat soldiers with our Zastava. Now we'll crawl through here. Surprise that Croat soldier. And get back up. Oh great, the Croats seem to have recaptured the base. Okay, we are now starting to lose once again. This is a, not a very good situation by any means at all. We need to keep fighting, we need to be tactical. We won't make the same mistake as last time, we will retake this base. I think next time around we'll try and flank from the base you can see in the far east of the map. Since that seems about to be a better position. Now, where are these Croats I've heard so much about? Okay, they're driving around in a Yugo. I'm not even surprised. He's dodging the grenades. At least he knows how to do that. Okay, he gunned me down, so we're going to try our second strategy. We'll get our hands on some vehicles and we'll attack the Croat forces from behind. So we have this tank just idling by and all of these men just 
huddling around in a tent. This is very, very stupid if you ask me. Which is why I am going to go on the offensive. We've been just placidly letting the Croats advance on this front, but no more. For now, we will not bombard the mosque because we have no reason to. But we will attack Croat forces to keep them out of the city. Since now that they have the barracks, they'll be putting a lot more of their troops in there, and we'll have an opportunity to take more of Mostar's locations, which is always a good thing for us, since we need to take control of the city. That's our main objective here, it always will be. So with this T-54 tank, that should be easy enough. As you can see, I'm gunning down the Croats with ease. And I am now advancing on this base of theirs. Hopefully they won't be able to resist for much longer, but it seems to me like the Croats are starting to get the upper hand, which is very, 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 very bad indeed. And there they are. That guy just literally he flew into my machine gun fire. Beautiful. What a sight. But now, let's keep a guard out here for any future Croat intrusions. And I see a Croat. Great. I spy with my little eye an Ustashe intruder getting ready to attack. Well, we'll stop him right here and right now. I can be certain about it. Wait, I, I hear comrades. I hear Serbs. Wait, why are the Croats recapturing this place? What the hell? Where in the name of God are these Croats? I mean, seriously. There's one. But that wasn't enough. There's more of them. Ah, there they are, the windows. They're just staring at me because they know that they can't penetrate the tank's armor. They know that they won't do anything. You know, just, you'll do nothing, Croats, you'll do nothing. Trust me. We will gun you down, one by one, if we have to. And he's hijacked my tank, great. So now we are in a very sticky situation. We'll just stab these Croats through a window. Okay, we can't reach that far, which is bad, but instead we'll stab this guy in the back. Serbian backstabber here, about to get that this Croat backstabber, you know, we're two different kinds of backstabbers. But nonetheless. Now we're gonna get on top of this tank, as we have done. We're gonna stab, we've stabbed the guy who was the machine gunner. And now we have a vantage point until we got shot off the tank, okay. Things are not going too well. Despite this, we seem to be ever so slowly winning. We're exhausting the Croats. Sure, they've taken some of our bases, but we have inflicted very heavy casualties. And that is always an advantage. And we just jumped to our deaths because, you know, the war is getting depressing. We decided to commit suicide, put an end to it all. Now, we're just gonna roleplay here. We'll pretend to be a dumb as fuck AI, just like Mr. Ogmian Peric, Mirko Peric, who I just pushed in the back. That's what happens when you idle, you fucking deserters. What are you doing? Come on, this is what happens when the game asks for more RAM than you have. Okay, we are in the Yugo now. We're gonna use this Yugo. Because with this Yugo in our hands, with this advanced technology, the Croats will tremble. We will crush them beneath our wheels, trust me. We cannot lose in a Yugo. But the best weapons we've got, a horn and a machine gunner who seems to be brain dead, we will win.
Now we're gonna do a drive-by shooting. There we go, you know, that's how we do things in the hood. And also in Mostar, you know. We do things quickly, painlessly, painlessly for us anyway, painfully for the Croat forces, and we crashed the Yugo. Wonderful, just wonderful. We'll have to keep inflicting casualties on the Croats, since they have more bases than we do, because all of our troops are busy idling by in that tent like idiots. It's painful to watch. Even more of them now. Oh, Lord. We'll see if we can get anybody to follow us. There we go. We've brought them to life. Here we go, we're ga gathering the squad. We're going to take these Croats down together. You know, rolling into town with the squad. No one can stop us. We have a nice pair of Yugos here. We'll take one each and we should be able to overrun their positions. With this badassery on our part. So those guys aren't even following us anymore. Doesn't matter though, it really doesn't matter. So long as we can continue our offensive. If we can take this part of the town from the Croat forces, bail out before the Yugo catches fire, which is it, which it is about to do, and launch our attack. The Croats do not stand a chance. So let's go, let's get this done, let's do this thing! We'll take cover since the Croats are attacking us. We scared that son of a gun off. And we're going to... And I am a fool. I just gave away our only chance at success. And our entire army is just idling by, standing on the airfield tarmac, while the Croats are attacking. But no more! Oh, the Croats are actually attacking the tarmac. Great. That makes things even worse. The airfield is under attack, we'll need some rockets. Not that we're lacking rockets, of course, but we need to get these Croat tanks. There we go, we've hit him with one rocket. Invisible rockets, mind you, those are stealth rockets. And now we have to repel the Croat offensive, which is trying to take the airfield out of our hands. If we lose the airfield, we've lost the battle. And we need to defend this airfield just because of that. The Croats are defeating us though, sadly. We might not be able to win too much in Bosnia. But that doesn't matter. A victory in this battle would be a blessing. And we've blown up the tank. We now have a chance. A chance at victory! So now let's march onwards. Onwards to victory against the Croats, against the Ustashe. We have the heavy weaponry we need. And we got headshotted by one of those Croat motherfuckers. At least we're advancing, at least we're advancing. We're now advancing into the city. I'm tempted to join in my comrades, I think I will. I'll join them in our final assault to retake more Mostar. Oh god. The Croat offensive is strong though. The Croat offensive is strong with this one. So we're having a hard time advancing out of the city, well into the city. But I am going to try and make that easier for my comrades. Of course, this will be tricky nonetheless. I'm not sure if the Serbs historically won the battle for Mostar. I think they were actually forced to withdraw by the Croats. So we'll try our best. We'll attack when we can attack, we'll defend when we have to defend. But we will win, no matter what. 
We have to retake the barracks, retake the town, and rebuild Yugoslavia. So we finally have uh, the necessary forces to attack. Thanks to me, of course, defending the airfield against the Croats, we now have the ability to counterattack into the city. And there's a Croat suicide bomber trying to give me a nice big hug. I'd rather not have one, thank you. There's a Croat who has become one with the wall, that's what I call camouflage. And now as we move back into the city, I'm going to try and reinforce my fellow Serbs. Hey, we're crying out loud, okay. We're crying out loud. We will take the city. That is inevitable. Zdravko and Bogdan, get out of the car. Thank you very much. Okay, Zdravko Milosevic is going to stay in the car. I don't mind. I'm not going to take the first bridge, I'm going to take the second bridge. And using the second bridge I will help my Serbian comrades launch the attack which will sever the head of the Croat Hydra once and for all. And we crashed the car again, we've crashed the Yugo. Luckily this model seems to be less prone to catching fire. Our offensive on that part of the town is failing though, which is not good one bit. God damn. Well, I understand. And we committed suicide again. So beautiful. Yet so terrible. The battle is not going in our favor, I'll have to admit that much. The episode is getting too long for my own liking. I might have to cut it short, who knows. But nonetheless, I feel sorry if this episode has been kind of boring. There hasn't really been much to do for us throughout the battle. There we go, into battle. We'll send them all out. We'll deploy them ourselves if they can't do it normally. Come on, into battle, into battle. There we go, we're helping the AI. Ah, for... I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm just gonna shut my mouth and hope that this is the last time a Croat does that to us. Why don't these guys want to follow me is my main question here. I mean seriously. Let's at least try and drive this Yugo properly. We won't crash it this time, trust me. There we go, that, that guy trusts me. Bogdan, thank you for giving me one more chance with the Yugo. Okay, so we're driving the Yugo as if it was a tank. This is a big mistake on our part. We need to be careful. If we see a Croat, however, we will have to run him over. And he knocked out our steering and he attacked the car. I'm not sure if it's just me, but it seems that these Croats have better AI than we do. That could just be me, of course, not knowing what the AI too well. Now the Croat forces have begun another attack on the airfield. We'll have to repel the attack on the airfield and continue our advance. This might just be a stalemate though, which won't be much better than the historical result of the battle. We're being pushed back, that's obvious enough. And our best men are busy camping in this tent. Ah, screw this! Here, if you don't want to fight, don't! There we go. Problem sorted. Now. Okay, you don't want to follow? Fair enough. I'm gonna do this by myself. I'm going to liberate this city and you can't do anything about it. Come on, Bogdan. Follow me. Ah, fuck. 
Fair enough, we'll continue marching. In a few minutes we'll put an end to the episode since the battle is getting long. And we will just announce that it is a stalemate, since we haven't been able to evict the Croats from the city, but they haven't been able to stop our forces from attacking. This time we'll drive properly. We'll have to ever so carefully attack this Croat ambush which has been prepared. There we go, nobody left. Th this Yugo has fantastic balance though, I'll give it that. Okay now, we are in a sticky situation, we're in a tricky position as well. Let's just hope he doesn't notice me even though I've shot his gunner. Okay, he's noticed me. And that's why I'm doomed. Either way, the battle is proving to be indecisive, I'll say that much. I was hoping for some kind of mother of all battles to decide the fate of Bosnia. It seems that the Croats don't want that though. Which is why we will continue our attack. And... We'll continue to take fire from the Croat forces. Very soon though, we will win. We might not win the battle, but we will win the war. So the Croats now have a tank. This gives them an automatic advantage at our expense. But not an advantage that we cannot balance out. We will have to dodge the tank though, make sure he that he doesn't hit us and that we can eventually knock him out. One way I see of doing this is throwing a grenade under his tank, of course, which is failing. And we failed with that, we'll spawn in with a rocket launcher. This is probably the last time we'll spawn in though, since the battle has gotten too long. Okay, not the last time we'll spawn in, since we just got shot by a comrade. Stupid Milovan Djordjevic. And those idiots there pretty much just rammed their Hugo suicidally. And we got shot by a teammate again. We will not allow this. We will not allow ourselves to die with such shame. We will die in battle against this tank. We must. Here we go. Where are you, tank? There you are. Okay, then. Let's give you a taste of an invisible rocket. So he didn't kill us, that's the most important part here. But we will kill him. Unless we kill him, we've lost the battle. One more time, this is just... It's getting irritating. Very, very irritating. There we go, our comrade got him for us. Now we'll use this machine gun to suppress the Croat forces. Hopefully we'll crush these Ustache here once and for all. They won't have the capacity to attack any further. But I honestly can't continue the series much long- well this episode much longer. The series will continue of course. But this episode will have to end about now, indecisively. We have the advantage in numbers, but the Croats have the advantage in bases. So we'll declare that this episode is a stalemate, just like episode 6, if I remember correctly. So we haven't managed to win the battle, but we haven't lost either. So thank you very much for watching. I have been the Nerd Gamer. Goodbye for now. I'll see you all in the next episode.